Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Jasmine Danielle and today I just wanna give you guys a couple of tips as to how you can stay positive during this COVID, during this pandemic. I know the world has just been shaken up. It has affected everyone. So I just wanna give some tips as to what's been helping me remain positive and stay on track. Before I begin, I do wanna thank all of the essential workers, all of the people who are putting their lives on the line to make sure that I have food that I have health care to make sure that I'm taken care of, I thank you. All of the nurses, the doctors, people in registration, the people that work in the grocery stores, the people who are really risking their lives to make sure that our lives can continue, I thank you for that. I thank you for everyone that is delivering packages, UPS, FedEx, USPS, Amazon. Thank you too. So the first step that I have for you is to remain positive. I know it's so much going on, but we have to keep our wits about us. You know, we have to keep something, some type of drive, some type of positivity going for us to make it through. So one thing that I do every day, pandemic or not, is I write out my gratitude. So get you a journal, something where you can write out your gratitudes. And every morning and every night, write down something that you're thankful for, for that day. It could be something as simple as I'm thankful for having life today. I'm thankful that I had something to eat. I'm thankful that I was able to give anything. And so just write down any and everything that you're grateful for. Give thanks, put thanks back out into the world. Send your gratitudes out into the world. And that is a good way to start your morning. Another thing is meditation or praying or giving him his time. Take out some time, take five, 10 minutes, whatever you can spare and just sit and meditate and just release all the negativity that you have and just welcome new high vibrations, welcome a lot of positivity into your life. One of my favorite times to do this is when I'm in the shower. <laughs> I love praying and talking to God when I'm in the shower because you just need that time, especially during this time, you need that time to just be quiet and be still and be in his presence. Also do this on a walk, take a drive. I do it all the time in the car. I just ride in the car with no music. There's something so beautiful about not doing anything and having peace and quiet. Live in that peace and quiet because once this pandemic is over, we're back to taking care of the kids, going to work. It's hectic, you know what I'm saying? And I know you're probably home with kids too. Make that little tail sit down. <laughs> we're gonna give thanks. I want you to write out your gratitudes for today put them on it too because they need positivity too they're young they don't understand what's going on so have them incorporate these same things into their days another thing you can do is make a soft playlist so one of the things that i absolutely love to do is clean and listen to music or i sit at home and play solitary and i just listen to music and I love soft singing, something that just puts you in a good mood. So for instance, one of my playlists, I have Janae Eichel on it and um, Alina Baraz, a little Lecrae, just something soft to just get my day started. Now, in the same breath, I do got my turn up playlist. So it just depends on whatever mood you're in, but put on something to get you pumped and get you excited for another day. One of the most important things is that we need to stay on track. If you have plans that don't require you going on vacation, do those same plans. If you had goals for this summer, do those same goals. You do not need to stop your life. Your life has been halted enough. You don't need another excuse. And we're not going to use it as an excuse because I'm here to push you. Do it. Do it. One thing is that we all need to see the light in this pandemic. For me, it's a blessing because it gave me time to be still and focus on what I really needed to focus on. Like look at the glass half full instead of half empty. You have to see the beauty in this time, whether you're able to spend more time with your kids, your husband, your mom. And the good thing about having a schedule is because it gives you something to look forward to. You know, you always have something to do. But with that, take your time to do nothing as well and just enjoy the time that we've been blessed with. Spend time with yourself. We need time to ourself. You know what I'm saying? So look at it as a blessing instead of this curse. I know 2020 has been crazy. We have this pandemic. We have aliens, killer bees. Put it all to the side. Spend time with yourself 
and look at it from a different point of view. Use this time to execute a business plan. If you've been thinking about opening up a sunglass store, here's the time. This is the time to do it. Go ahead and plan and execute. Use this time wisely. Don't let this get you off track because we're already off track enough. We have to stay the course. You don't want to be even further behind. So keep it going. What you did before a pandemic, continue to do it. You just can't, you know, go outside and do it from the house. <laughs> Another big thing is to watch what you're consuming. Not only with food, don't take this time to get unhealthy. Don't be in there eating all the snacks, gaining weight, being unhealthy. Watch what you're consuming as far as your food and your drink, but also what you're exposing yourself to. So trash TV. Don't be sitting up watching Love and Hip Hop all day because I know you are. Put something positive on it. And I get it. I love trash TV too. I've been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. I get it. But there's a balance. I'm not filling my head with all of that. And out of my day, I'm business planning. I'm connecting. I'm doing different things. So I'm not being fully consumed with trash TV. So some good shows that I love to watch that kind of get me in bright spirits. I love comedies and comedy shows. So I've been watching a lot of Impractical Jokers. That's something to kind of get you back on track. Just give you a good laugh so you're not wound up in such and such business. We don't know them. We don't know them from a can of paint. We don't need to know they drunk. With that also, like I know we need to be informed of what's going on. Do not sit on CNN, Fox, News Channel 5, News Channel 10, Don Lemon. Leave them alone. It's nothing good on the news right now. It's nothing good on the news. Turn the news off. That is also, put that in the bucket with your trash TV. Get your daily dose. Get you a sign up for like an alert so you can just be alert for what's going on. But do not sit on CNN. I have not watched the news because every time I turn it on, it's something crazy. And I just don't need that in my spirit right now. You know what I'm saying? We need to be as positive as we can be. Because it's like every time we think we've taken a step forward, we turn on the news and look, a million more people done got it. A million more people be doing this. So put that in the bucket with Trash TV. We leaving the news alone, y'all. Don't watch it. And I'm not saying don't watch it at all and just be all willy-nilly. But get what you need from it and turn it off. So I know that we're not able to go to family members' homes and do different things like that, but there are a million other ways that we can reconnect with people that we haven't been able to connect with. You know, it's something so crazy because we all have these little devices that look like many like iPads and you can call people, you can text people, you can even FaceTime with them. We all have a cell phone. There's no excuse. Become a better friend. Call your friend that you've been thinking about on Zoom. We all got iPhones, FaceTime them. Use this time to get back on track with your friends and your loved ones. Even if it's just a simple, hey, I'm just calling to make sure you're okay. I wanna let you know that I love you. I'm sorry we haven't talked in a while, but I'm here today. What's been going on, sis? What's been going on, bro? Hey, I'm just calling to let you know I love you. I'm sorry we haven't talked in a minute, but this is what's been going on with me. How have you been? Reconnect and rebuild those friendships. In life, we get busy. You know, I have friends that I don't talk to every day, but they know I'm still there. I've used this time to reconnect with them. It's been that that's one of the positives. That's one of the blessings is that I now have time to talk to you. And I know you got time because we ain't doing nothing. Call them. Turn off your TV. Get off your Xbox. Pull up your computer. Pull up your phone. Reconnect with your friends and your loved ones. See what's going on with them. See what you've missed these past couple of months rebuild that relationship that you have with them we all have time don't put it back on the back burner because tomorrow is not promised whether they have COVID or not people die every day you never know when you're going to see them again use this time wisely reading and writing this is something that i absolutely love i love to write just start journaling. It's always good to put your thoughts on paper and to just release. We as human beings like to hold so much in. Don't do that. Put it on paper, close your book, put your book on the bookshelf and go on about your life. One of the things that's really helped me is having a schedule, still being on schedule. Not just waking up and knowing I got the next 15 hours to watch TV. No, put yourself on a schedule. 
it makes your day go by a lot quicker. You're more busy. You're not sitting at home just letting all the negative media and everything that's going on in the world. You're not just sitting there in your thoughts. You actually have something to do. So give yourself a schedule. And not only have I been working off of a schedule, but I've also been setting deadlines for myself. I am very big on keeping it moving, progressing, and looking ahead. So I know in a couple of months, all this is going to be over. But in a couple of months, what I had planned, I still need to execute. I can't get behind. We cannot fall behind. Like, this is not the time to just sit around and be lazy. Put yourself on a schedule and stick to it. It will be so much better than you just laying around, let the kids run around. Put them on a schedule too. Do activities with them. Incorporate that into your schedule. And with that, you can take the time to do the things that you've been putting off, like spring cleaning, cleaning out the garage, cleaning out the closet. <laughs> do different things that you didn't really have time to do. We have nothing but time on our hands right now. I know it's a lot easier for me because I don't have kids, but put them to work too. If you got a baby, put them in a walker or whatever. Put them to work too. Put them on a schedule. Give them something to do. And you know your life better than I do. There's a time in the day when you can have your own separate time to get back to self and to take care of yourself. Figure that out. Get to it while you're doing that. A good thing to do is read. I'm not talking about reading the shade room post. I'm talking about picking up a book that applies to your life, a book that is teaching you something, a book that's inspirational. You can also take this time to learn something new. So I've been learning YouTube, <laughs> the ins and outs of YouTube. I'm also very big on DIY. So I've been doing some DIY projects and looking up different projects that I want to do. The best thing to do is just keep yourself busy. Okay, Let's get you a hobby. I'm interested in gardening. So I'm going to go pick me up some seeds and start gardening. Gardening, sitting there stagnant. Don't be sitting there just... A couch potato girl get up boy get up and do something you have to stay active and with staying active work out we have time to work out now put on a workout video workout DVD there's plenty of things on YouTube or like on demand that you can put on but the kids there with you the kids got to be healthy too they want to work out too have them work out right next to you you work out your husband work out y'all working out as a family, you're staying healthy. The biggest and most important thing that you can do during this time is to continue living. Continue living. Continue doing what you did before. I know it takes a lot on your mental health. Speak. Speak up. Reach out to someone. If you don't have anyone to reach out to, hit me up on Instagram. Put a comment down here. I'll talk to you. Speak up for yourself. You owe it to yourself. This is the only life that you have and you don't want to live it depressed and sad. But do not fester. Do not let all of the negativity that's going on in the world, the fact that you're cooped up in the house, do not let that get to your spirit, okay? Try to be as positive as you can. You have to keep yourself in good spirits. Do things that you love. Find something and stick to it. If you like to paint, Paint every day. Put it in a scrapbook. There go your quarantine pandemic scrapbook that you can look at 30 years from now. Keep yourself busy. Do not be stagnant, okay? Give yourself things to do. Give yourself tasks. One thing you can do is join chat groups or Zooms for like different communities that are in your area. It's really good for you to do them with your area because once this is all over it would be nice to meet up with that group get on facebook and find groups for people in your city connect with them because afterwards that's the friend that you can have y'all can meet up and go bowling and whatever do group activities but we have to lean on each other to get us through this time so that's a really good idea i'm connected with a couple of groups and they keep me uplifted. They post nothing but positive things. We really connect. So it makes it easier because it's not just you. We're all going through it. Everyone's going through it. So lean on your fellow friend. Lean on your fellow Facebooker. Lean on whoever. The biggest thing that is getting to a lot of people is that we're just stuck with the same 
for a walk, go for a walk, take your dog for a walk, take your kids for a walk, take yourself on a walk. Just leave for a change of scenery, for fresh air, as fresh as it's going to get with your mask on, okay? So these are just a few tips that I had for you to remain positive and keep high vibrations during this pandemic. They are tried and true. I've been doing them myself. I'm not just preaching it to you. I'm practicing what I preach. I do these things every day and it's kept me in high vibrations. And I've been very positive during this pandemic. If you have any questions or if you want to add anything in the comments as to what you can do during this pandemic, put it down in the comments. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.